DIY is just like, it's a good experience, and you feel really close to God, and like you're in His presence. It made you think about different ways of God's love, like He is, He controls everything and He still loves you, even though you're so like insignificant. We are all ordinary people with an extraordinary God. One of the major themes at CIY was um, being in pits. It could be depression or alcoholism or addiction or self-righteousness or even pride or anything that causes you to live somewhere outside of God. No matter how dark your life seems or how hopeless it seems, that God is always with you. And God always has a plan for you that is greater than you could ever imagine. So if you ever find yourself in a pit like that, don't lose hope. Just have faith that God will use you. If you let God be the author of your story, the final word will always be redeemed. God can redeem us from anything that we may be going through, that he can take bad and turn it into good, which is so hard for us to understand sometimes, especially when we're going through something that's we think so hard. God has a way of taking messed up lives and bringing them to, for his glory. Because sometimes you do feel worthless and you feel like you can't be redeemed, but God redeems you. Joseph was a boy of promise, even though he didn't quite know what his purpose was going to be. God had a purpose for him, even when it seemed like his life was just falling apart. So I think that's really cool to think that I am a girl of promise and that God has something in plan for my life. Joseph was the boy of promise in his story and we are like the children of promise in our stories. We are not dead even though we sin time and time again. So the most powerful thing at CIY was the TP tree. We had rolls of toilet paper and different people from the group read us Bible verses and we had to write words that we thought described us in correlation to those verses. And we wrote our sins down or just anything we want to give to God on a toilet paper roll and we like TP to tree. And At the end you basically let it go and give it all to God. It was supposed to symbolize like giving yourself wholly to God. One of the most powerful things that I kind of heard and just kept like hearing in my head you need to be like a legacy instead of a legend. Using your life to not leave you as a legend, which would be like people remembering you, but to leave a legacy of God. How others view you shouldn't be like, oh, she's so pretty or like, you know, like stuff like that. But it should be like, wow, she really has Christ living in her heart. Legacy hit me hard because I am you know, a senior going off to college or whatever. And I started to just kind of think, like, what was my legacy and, like, what did I leave behind, like, for my friends, for my family, like, that's so especially my brother. Coming back from CIY, I want to be different in that I want to make the, turn the legend to be a legacy. When I was a freshman, I kind of looked up to the seniors and I want to be a role model for them. I want them to be able to come to me. My faith is going to be stronger than him, like in him. I'm going to work more towards being a better Christian and then hopefully end up getting baptized soon. I need to be more involved because I don't always come on Wednesdays or Sundays and like it's basically if nothing's going on, I'll go. But now I make it so that I have to go. Like I, I know it's more of a priority, like a bigger priority now. Having that mentality that God is first and trying to put everything else behind him. Being a kingdom worker just means being the hands and feet of God. To live your life the way that God would want you to live it. Answer God what God wants you to do. I mean, you just work for God. And During CIY, they give you little kingdom worker cards, and it has a challenge for you that if you open it, you should follow through. And I opened mine and mine said to raise $3,000 for a missionary supported by our church and to connect and pray with them once a month. And Kingdom worker card I got where I had to pay uh, $10 towards other people's gas 10 times a year. When I got it I was worried because I didn't have a job and I didn't know where I'd get the money from. I got a call from where I had applied to and I got the job there so it all like worked out. and. So I'll have money to be able to do it. We are further in God's kingdom by helping with the we worship. I think that I could better serve people by just investing more time with people and just 
taking the time to build relationships with people. Loving people and showing God's love and serving. My name is Kylie. Allie. Brent. Becca. Mackenzie. My name is Meg. And I'm a kingdom worker. Kingdom worker. Kingdom worker. Kingdom worker. Kingdom worker. And I'm a kingdom worker! My name is Eric, and I am a kingdom worker.